Hello everybody, my name is John and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server on your Mac. Now in this tutorial, I'll be trying to go as quickly as I can while still explaining everything to the fullest that I possibly can in the time that I'm giving myself. Which is 12 minutes or less, I hope. Uh, so, uh, it might seem complicated at first. Uh, everything you have to go through, but uh, once you do it, you'll kind of get it, and it shouldn't be too hard. Alright, first thing I'd like to say <coughs> is you might want to create a new folder, call it Minecraft Server, whatever you want. Uh, and that's what you will put all your Minecraft files in. Um, but just for the sake of ease in this tutorial, I'll just be popping them on the desktop, and it'll also let you guys see it better. Alright, so first thing you would like to do is go to minecraft.net. Uh, I don't really need to put a link in the description, but I might anyway. <coughs> anyway, once you're on minecraft.net, this is their official page, and you go right onto this sexy looking man, and you click download. This brings you to their downloads page, which is so special. Uh, if you look here, it'll say multiplayer beta server software right there that is what we want friends but there is two different downloads here there's a dot exe and a dot jar we are on mac so we want the dot jar file not exe jar like pickles like i'm gonna open a jar of pickles my mac likes to eat pickles in a jar a jar file i don't know why i just did that but i did so you can go ahead and save that baby just like that, I have tried this uh, tutorial mul tutorial multiple times, and it's just I've messed up a bunch. So hopefully I won't this time. And I'm gonna find that real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Minecraft server jar right there. Put that on my desktop. You could put that in your folder, your Minecraft folder that you made, and start uh doing that stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Wow, okay. Once you have that file, do not open it yet. I repeat, do not open it. Because uh, <coughs> you need to open it a certain way for the first time. And that certain way has to, has to include... If we open up this uh, downloads page that we were just on. If you look right here, <coughs> and there's a bunch of like letters and numbers right under that file that we got. You're going to want to copy that. But only from Java to the dash jar. Do not go beyond dash jar. Okay? So you'll copy that. Then we're going to open up terminal. If you don't know what terminal is, it's uh, basically the command prompt for Mac. You don't have to download it. Um, to find it, you can just go into finder, type in terminal, and there it is. Once you're in terminal, Go ahead and paste that random bunch of letters and numbers that we just copied in there. Hit the space bar once. Make sure you have that space in there. And drag this file that we just got into terminal like a beast, like a pro, like a boss. Hit the enter button. Once you have done that, it is c correctly starting your server for the first time. It is downloading your files. It is making your map. It is doing all that good, good Good, good, good stuff, man. So, uh, yeah, once, you know, basically as soon as you start it, you can end it. It doesn't really matter. So go ahead and end that. <coughs> um, now, I created a bunch of files, or downloaded them, and I found them, personally, under Places iMac. I don't know if it's just me. Or if it does that for everybody, but that's where I found my files. And uh, I don't know if it's different if you put it in a folder, it might create them there, but this is where I found them. And the files that come with it include band IPs, pop, band players, pop, ops, or operators, pop, server log, server properties, whitelist. And world. 
Okay, <clears throat> so once you have all your files, you should have nine all together. You might want to count them. Make sure you got them all. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Uh, your files will include the map it first got, world, and that first server that uh that we downloaded. And uh, now, I'd like to go over these files before we proceed. Uh, banned IPs, you can put an IP in there and ban them from your server. Banned players, you can put a player in there and ban them. And it also shows you the, bland, the banned players. Uh, ops, or operators, you're probably going to want to make yourself an operator. Uh, to do that, you can just put in your username on Cboodle. save it <coughs> there you go you're an operator now and one thing to keep in mind if you're not an operator you can't destroy or build blocks at the spawn I don't know what's up with that but that's just how it is uh, server log dot log you don't need to worry about that uh, wait a second one two three four five six seven I'm missing a file hi guys I even counted like twice um Where's it at? Oh, balls. Oh, it's it's not an important one anyway. All right. Uh, yeah, make sure you have all your files. Um, okay. Uh, I, I was just being a total hypocrite there. I, I made a big deal about making sure you had all your files, and I didn't have mine. All right. It's not important. I don't have to go over that one. But um, what a white. Uh, we'll go on to whitelist here. Whitelist. That's a. Uh, um, if you have a whitelist, that means only the people on this whitelist can play on your server. So yeah. Uh, properties. You're gonna have to open properties and change your properties to whatever you want it to be. Level name. That's the map it created first. World. Allow the nether, you can turn that to true or false. The distance, I don't worry about that much. Spawn monsters, you can turn that to true or false. Online mode. Now what online mode has to do with is mods. So if you or people who are going to be playing your server have mods, uh, you got to change this online mode to false. Just like that. Spawn animals, pretty self-explanatory there. Max players, the max amount of players on your server. Server IP, we'll worry about that kind of stuff in a second. PvP, that's player versus player, which means you can hit and kill each other. I change that to false because it really sucks when you're mining in a deep shaft with your friend. <laughs> that sounds wrong. And you, like, hit each other with a diamond, in, uh, uh, diamond pickaxe, and you die instantly, and you're just like, God damn it, Johnny! And I'm just like, I'm sorry! Okay. Uh, level seed, uh, you put like a seed word in there, and that's how uh, the server will create your map. I know that like Glacier makes it so there's like floating mountains, like an avatar. I don't, I don't know much other stuff about seeds. I haven't messed with them much. Server port, we'll worry about that kind of stuff in a second. Allow flight, that's another mod thing. If you have a flight mod, you're going to want to change this from false to true. I don't have one, so I'm just going to leave it false. Whitelist. If you want that whitelist deal where only the people on the whitelist can get in, you can change that to true. Once you have all your settings the way you want them, go ahead and save that. <coughs> now we can uh, actually get into uh, letting people access our server. Hooray! Alright, so the method we're going to be using is called port forwarding. Now, port forwarding can be co a complicated process because you have to go into your router settings, uh, make a new port. Uh, in the T TCP, and uh, you know it's it it can be a complicated process, but <coughs> there is a very easy program to use that makes port forwarding just so awesome and simple. Uh, I will have a link to it in the description. Uh, it's called Port Map, if you can see right there. And you're just gonna click this download button, and it gives you different download options. I I think I picked secure download for the US because I'm cool like that your download will start and uh, 
and you can just save that file. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And then you'll just go into your downloads, find it, double click on it, and it'll start up. And when you start it up, it'll look just like this, except you will have nothing in here because I already have a port going because I'm cool like that. Um, but uh, now, now this is where you guys are like, what is a port? A port um, is basically uh, like a way your network direct uh, like directs traffic. Like that's what port forwarding is. Like your network is directing traffic to certain ports. <coughs> so in this situation, we want to direct some traffic, or we want to direct traffic to our Minecraft port. So to do this on our port map here we click the plus button remember you're not gonna have anything in there and uh... this will be blank just like this it'll be blank like this and this is local port uh... now like what do we put in there well if you look at your server properties folder here right here it says server port and by default it is two five five six five so on this port map program in that local port spot you just put in 25565 uh, in the description you might want to name it in case you have other ports in the future so you don't get them mixed up uh, then you just click add mapping and you will have a port just like the one I do and uh, once you have this port set up uh, hold on, just wait a second once you have this port set up you can go into your minecraft where is mine? Um, here it is. Once you have that port set up, you can go into Minecraft, log in, and if you will see here, once you go into multiplayer, it asks you for the IP in this uh, box right here. Now, what people who join your server are going to have to put in is this IP right on top of this port map. Uh, program that is your external IP and so everybody who wants to join your server has to put in that IP okay but you being the host you can just simply put in local host with no spaces or caps and you'll connect to your network uh, or I mean your server rather uh, just fine but everybody else who joins has to put in this IP at the top of this port map application okay now, one thing to keep in mind, whenever you want to uh, play on your Minecraft server, make sure you have Minecraft server.jar actually running. Make sure. You, oh, 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 oh. When you open your server now, you don't need terminal anymore. Keep that in mind. You don't have to do the code thing every time. That was just the first time. But yeah, when you want to run your server. Oh, here's that other file that I was missing earlier. Uh, th that doesn't matter. You don't need that. Uh, but anyway. Um, once, uh, well, I'm sure it does matter, but it's nothing that you have to mess with, okay? Um, so yeah, every time you want to play on your server, make sure you actually have your, uh, server going by, uh, you know, opening Minecraft server.jar and, uh, make sure that your port is on and not off. So make sure that you got your port on. And, uh, <laughs> port, I got a port on. Oh, yeah, I got a raging port on. All right, so just make sure those two things are done, and you should be able to connect. Um, I'm going to actually, uh, it's not loaded yet, so I won't be able to. And I'm not going to wait for it to load, because I just kind of want to end this. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do have any questions, uh, please please ask me in the comments below I can answer anything I'm amazing okay so don't be hesitating to ask any questions at all so I would love to answer them for you guys um I think this is a pretty successful tutorial um thank you guys for watching and uh uh remember links are in the description uh happy minecrafting and have a great day